All right, so in this tutorial video, we want to learn how to find recurrent states, transient states, mean recurrent time, and periodicity in R, okay? So first, we want to apply all our working environments and graphics using this code of line. And the next thing is to load this required package. That is the Markov chain package. In case you don't have this installed, you can install it. You can just click on packages, click on install, and type in the name Markov chain. Make sure that you are connected to the internet to complete the installation, okay? So once you're done with the installation, you have to load these packages in the library function. So I'm going to run this. All right, so now let's take an example. Okay, so we want to use this example. We have already seen this example from our previous tutorial, and now we want to solve it in R, okay? So um, before you watch this video, I will urge you to check out my video tutorial on recurrent states, transient states, main recurrent time and periodicity in um, by clicking on the link in the card above or check the description below this video for the link, okay? So um, we want to consider the Markov chain in figure two. So this is the transition diagram that we want to make use of. So we want to find the mean return time to state one, okay? So if you check this diagram, transition diagram, starting, let's say the Markov chain starting from state one, what is going to be the mean return time to state one, okay? So in order to find the mean return time to state one, we, we need to get the transition probability matrix for this Markov chain, okay? So let's jump into our studio. So let's get a transition matrix. So um, we are going to start from state one. So we know from state one to itself is one out of two. State one to state two is also one out of two. State one to state three is going to be zero. So that is what we have here, half, half, zero. Then we also um, check that of state two. So we state two, we are looking at state two to state one is zero. State two to itself is one out of three and state two to state three is two out of three, okay? And we can also check that for state three. So starting from state three to state one is one out of two. State three to state um, two is one out of two. State three to itself is going to be zero, okay? So that's basically what we have here for the values. So we specify by rule to be true, the number of rows is three. So by default, the number of columns is also going to be three so that you can have a square matrix. So let's execute this, control enter. So here we go. So now we want to add a current state and a future state. We can make use of the new function. So we are going to call a package, a chain is going to be a transition matrix. We have the state to be one, two, three, and we are giving it a name DTMC. So let's execute this, control enter. So we have now added a state, the current state, as well as the future state, okay? So we have now simulated um, the transition probability matrix for this markup chain. All right, so now we are interested in the mean return time to state one, okay? So before we can, before we, we, we find out the mean return time to state one, let's find out whether the Markov chain, we have recurrent states as well as we have transient state. Let's try to find out if there exists any recurrent state or transient state, okay? So let's start with um, recurrent state. So to get a recurrent state, you can use this function, control enter. So here we can see that all the states are recurrent, state one, state two, and state three, okay? We can also check that of um, recurrent class by using this function, control enter. So we can see that here we have one class, which means that all this, uh, all the states are recurrent. So we are just going to have one class, okay? We can also find out if a Markov chain is transient by using this function, so control enter. So because all the states are recurrent, definitely we are not going to have any um, transient states, okay? And you can also find out transient class by using this function, control enter, okay? So yeah, because all, because we have um, a 
single or let's say we have one recurrent class there's not going to be any transient class okay but you can use this to check for other markov chain okay all right so now we are certain that we have um, all this data are recurrent so we can definitely find the mean return time to state one okay so let's try and get a mean return time so this function will help us to get not only for state one but for all the other states okay so let's execute this control enter so this is showing us the result for the mean return time to state one the mean return time to state two and the mean return time to state three okay let's try and compare the results when we solve this manually let's compare the results So the expected return time to state one is three and a half steps, which is similar to what we have here, 3.5, okay? And this is for the other states, state two and state three, okay? So I think we are good to go now. So the last thing that we want to consider is going to be the periodicity, okay? To check for periodicity, you can make use of this function, the period function. So let's execute this, control enter. So we have the period to be one, okay? Which means that we are going to have an aperiodic markup chain, okay? This follows that um, the greatest common divisor of the times at which we return is possible is going to be one, okay? All right, so basically, um, this is how to find recurrent state, transient state, mean recurrent time, and periodicity in R, okay? So please, if you find value in today's tutorial video, don't forget to subscribe if you have not. And thank you for watching.